Welcome to the Bill Benson Show. If you like conspiracy theories, you like what's going on in the government, you like to learn about secret societies, you like to learn about Jehovah Witnesses, this is the perfect channel for you. Please subscribe and make a comment. Welcome to the Bill Benson Show. So I know you guys have heard me talk about the conspiracy about Watchtower and Baal worship. Right. Well, do you know if you go to Bethel, the headquarters of the organization known as Jehovah's Witnesses, that they have statues of Baal at their headquarters. So here is the thing. How can you be a Jehovah Witness, see a statue of the symbol of Watchtower with the god known as Baal in front of it and tell me that you're not an organization that worships Baal. How on earth can you come to that decision? Now, for those of you, I'm going to show you, um, there is a channel that has uh, demons in the watchtower. And this video is coming from Christy Ann's channel. This is an ex-Jehovah Witness channel. Now, she did not tell me to do this. I'm just letting you guys know. And if you are already on her channel, you'll see that she takes some of my material and then makes videos and talks about it. So, I appreciate what she does and that she, you know, takes the time to watch my videos and that she even goes as far as to take some of my subject matter, make videos on her own time and talk about these subject matters that I think that the general public should know about. So I'm very grateful to the things that she does, and I very much appreciate it. And like I said, anybody and everybody is always allowed to use my material any way they want. I don't care at all. But what I want to do is I'm not going to show her videos or anything like that because I don't know if she is comfortable with me doing that or not. But what I'm going to tell you is in the description of this video, if you want to see her video, it's going to show you step by step that Baal is actually Jehovah in witness literature. It's actually something you can physically look up. And I'll show you guys that. But if you want to see a step-by-step -step on how to do this, you can go to her channel and watch it. Now, I will warn you, for those of you who are sensitive and for those of you who um, are just coming out, she will also be showing you material which i'll show you some of it of images of things that are in the watchtower magazines because there are all kinds of Baal worship symbols in there and it's very disturbing and it will probably make you feel sick to your stomach when you see it so this is what the video's front page looks like if you come across it you know what it is so for the audience in order to understand or get any idea of what i'm talking about You'll need to go to jw.org and or actually go onto the internet and look up Jehovah Witnesses Baal Worship. When you do that, it will lead you to the Jehovah Witness page as the first thing it shows. Because you gotta understand, I don't know if you guys understand how how algorithms work or how Google works. In order to be the first like video or the first thing to show up, you have to pay the search engine to do that. That's the first thing I want you guys to think about. Now, the next thing is if you go into the Hebrew lexicon and you look up the name Jehovah, this is what you're going to see. So you can look it up and you can see the original writing and you can see where you can go and you can see that what I'm saying to you guys is true. Ball a symbol name for Jehovah. It's right there. But let's take it one step further because witnesses don't use outside literature, right? So remember, we're using their own literature, folks. So for those of you who are witnesses and watching my channel, I want you to take a breath and I want you to read this, okay? And for those of you who are too scared to go to the channel to do it, I will do it for you right now. At times in Israel's history, Jehovah was referred to as Baal, in the sense of his being the owner or husband of the nation. 
Opening parenthesis. Also, the Israelites may have improperly associated Jehovah with Baal in their apostasy. The latter appears to be borne out by Hosea's prophecy that the time would come when Israel, after going into and being restored from exile, would repentantly call Jehovah, my husband, and no more, my owner, my Baal. Closing parenthesis dot. The context suggests that the designation, Baal, and its associations with the false god would never again pass the lips of the Israelites. Opening parenthesis. Because of its association with the degraded worship of Baal is thought by some to be the reason the writer of 2 Samuel used the names Ishbosheth and Mephibosheth. Now, I want you to pay very close attention to the wordplay. Also, the Israelites may have improperly associated Jehovah with Baal in their apostasy. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? It's pretty simple. May have. May have means that there is a possibility that they did not do this by accident. Do you understand what they're telling you? Remember, the cult group has to tell you the truth, but they have to put it in a way that you don't catch it and you don't see it. If you don't pay attention to the wordplay, you will make it seem like they're telling you that this is an accident, but that's not what they're saying. They're saying, may have saying that it's a possibility that they were telling the truth. Did you catch it? If you look at JW material, Watchtower material, you'll see that ball and ball worship, the goat and the horn images are throughout most of their literature. Almost every single image that they produce has a hidden symbol inside of it. For an example, there are two hidden symbols in this, and I'm going to show you the first one. Remember, this is talking about children. Do you see it? The devil face in the mirror? No, it gets worse than this though. If you turn it and you angle your mirror, do you see what it does? And do you see what's happening now? You can see male genitalia being held out while the other kid is taking a picture of it. Now, these are only a few examples among hundreds, if not thousands. Now, here is the thought experiment. There is an argument saying that these things are just coincidences, right? People are finding these things. That's not the case. Why don't you go to a different church group and then look at their material and do these same tests? Do they end up showing the same kind of things? Does that church have issues with CSA like Watchtower does? Why don't you pick a church organization or group that does not have a history of CSA and then look at their literature, look at their images, and then conduct these same mere experiments? Because you guys don't understand, and why is it the mirror is the only way you see this stuff? Well, the reason for that is the mirror is a symbol within the cult itself. It has special powers in their belief system. That's why you only see the truth with the mirror. It's a symbolic symbol. I hope you guys understand what I'm telling you. If you watch the video I'm suggesting to you and you still maintain your Jehovah Witness faith, my opinion about you is that you are probably satanic in nature. And what I mean by that is when you see what the organization does to children, hides it, admits to it in court, and then you see that they worship an entity purposely that encourages this behavior, and yet you still stand behind it, saying that this is the true God that you want to worship, if they're doing CSA, paying to save CSA, going out and getting legislation to help this and support this, 
and then it's in their literature and you're supporting it, it's because you are agreeing with this. Here's another example. Do you think it's an accident that this looks like two people having intercourse and it looks like what the images that you would see using tomography? Do you think that this is a mistake? That it looks like things that we see in a textbook for our medical students? You think that this is really a coincidence and that this wasn't created on purpose? How can you define and say that? <clears throat> now remember, if this happened one time, it could be a coincidence. It happens twice, it's not a coincidence. Three times, it's absolutely 100% on purpose. Now we're looking at 50, 100, maybe a thousand times that you see these kind of things. How many times do you have to see this before you say, wait a minute, I've been lied to? You can call this a conspiracy all you want, but here's the truth. That is a symbol of Watchtower. It is the castle. It is the tower itself, right? What is in front of the tower? What is leading the tower? It's Bell himself. What do you guys know about Bell worship? They require sacrifices of children. What does Watchtower do when it finds out about pedophiles? Does it get rid of them? No. It does everything in their power to hide it. It should be a requirement for every single Kingdom Hall to change their sign to this. Because this is the truth. This is the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Predators. And it's nothing more and nothing less. Don't doubt your own eyes anymore. Don't doubt your own thoughts, your own feelings. You know that this is something not right about this. It is dark, it is twisted, and even talking about it makes you feel bad, makes you scared, because you should be. These people are monsters, and they worship monsters, and they believe in the things that they do, because they are what I would refer to as evil, an actual definition. They are evil. They want to do bad things to people. They want to hurt people. They like doing it. They get off on your misery. They love it. This is why people in the organization have so many issues with mental illness. It's because these people have been learning and training to break your psyche for a long time. This is your opportunity to escape. The declaration of war has been called. It's time for you to pick a side. 